Hello, uh, I'm Darren Page from headsetsforbusiness.co.uk. Uh, welcome back to part two of uh, how to attach the Doro uh, lifter, headset handset lifter, with the Doro HS1910 and on the phone that we're connecting to. Right, first things first, um, make sure that the base station and headset are fully charged for at least four hours if it's the first time you've used it. Uh, the headset base station is on the middle icon, which is the, the icon is, it shows, a, if I can show that on the camera there, it shows the receiver and an arrow lifting up. Please make sure it's on that one because it won't work otherwise. If it isn't on that one, turn the base station to the side and you'll see um, a button next to the mic up and down buttons for volume you'll see the, the there's four lines if you press that once it will go back up to the telephone mode press it down again and it goes back to that mode so please make sure it's on that mode okay <clears throat> right okay um, the first thing we do is to lift the receiver off, take your handset lifter. Okay, now, first of all, on the back of this, there is normally sticky tape on, on these that you just peel off. Before you actually get this correct, don't take those off, just use a little bit of blue tack, uh, just a little bit of blue tack on each section there just until you've got the position correctly. Okay. <clears throat> the idea is that this, this, but this part of it here presses down on the contact button there, the receiver contact button, like so. Okay, so it, it takes a little bit of messing around and just have a play around with it until you get it right. Bear in mind you've got the uh, this is on a ratchet, so it moves up and down to, to actually put it in place. Also, the angle of the phone uh, for the receiver, this is a ratchet, so that alters the angle up and down, like so. Um, if you think that it's slipping or that it doesn't quite fit right, then try either removing or adding the extra um, uh, position, the extra cushion there that just alters the size. Um, to fit various shapes of, of receiver. In this particular case for this Meridian phone, um, it, it, it's fine. So basically all you do is, um, what I've done here is I've already marked up uh, just a little bit of pencil, just marked up where I need to go. So essentially all I'm going to do is um, mark up, put it back onto where my marks are, like so, okay, and place that receiver back down. Now, as you as you've noticed, you have okay. So that's down. Right. The next thing to do. is to plug in the microphone, the ex it's actually an external um, ring indicator. If the speaker is underneath the receiver, you don't always need this bit. Um, if, it's, if it's on the other side, sometimes they're on the other side of the phone, then obviously you just move the, the, the actual um, uh, ring indicator. You just, again, it's adhesive as well, just move it round and stick it on. In this particular case it would go here. Um, there is an internal one as well so I don't think I'll need this today but try it both ways. Okay so you've applied, attached the lifter to the phone via the adhesive strips or via blue tack initially. You've ensured that the um, the contact uh, button here is, is pressed down Okay, plug in 
the headset um, headset handset lifter lead, which is the blue lead, match it up with the blue on the back of the base station. He says if we can get it in. There we are. I don't know if you can see that from here, but the, there is a, now a blue mains light on there. Okay, so that is now actually on. The headset lifter is on. If it's red, then just press the button at the side here until you get the blue. If I switch that over, you probably can't see this on here, but um, that's gone red now. I press it again, back on to blue. So, <clears throat> you have the wireless headset charged. It's on the right connection, the middle connection, the middle light. The mains light is in blue. The receiver is on the, on the lifter, on the phone, it's all attached. The microphone, or external ring indicator, which is on your microphone really, um, should be on the speaker part of the phone. If it's on another part, if it's on the other side of the phone, then just move it round. Take the sticky back off and place on there, onto the, the speaker. In this case, it's actually underneath the receiver in this particular phone. So uh, we probably won't need it, but as I said before, please try it both ways. It's, it does take a little bit of adjustment and then keep trying it until you get it just right. Once it's right, then great. Okay, so essentially there will be no dial tone at the moment. The, the lifter is just mimicking the phone as it would be normally. The button is, has been pressed down, so there's no dial tone. To make sure it's working properly, take the wireless headset off the base station and press the button and watch the lifter. If it doesn't work, which it isn't doing in this case, okay, then place it back on and alter the position of the lifter. Okay, so we're going to try it there. I've just moved it. Okay, I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to try it again. So remove it off. And you see that there? It actually made the receiver. Now listen, then listen into the headset um, itself and listen for the dial tone, which I've got. So and then press it again. And it depresses, uh, sorry, it presses the button back down and and cancels the call. Um, so again, it's just mimicking as if you were here. Okay. So and that's basically it. So the the next thing to do is what do you do when you're away from your desk, and the phone rings. Okay. Well, what happens? This is what the external ring indicator is for. When that's attached to the speaker, whether it's at the side or whether it's underneath the receiver, when the phone rings and you can get someone to ring your extension, the blue light here will flash. That then sends a signal to the wireless headset which you're wearing, obviously. You're on the other side of the room, your phone's ringing. Um, the indicator, the external ring indicator picks up the fact that the phone's ringing it sends a beep signal to your headset and all you would do is press and the lifter on the other side of the room or within 150 meters would lift the receiver as if you were there and enables you to connect to the call. Consequently, when you finish the call and finish speaking to, every, to the person, you press your button and the lifter goes back down and you're ready to take the next call. And that is how the Doro HS1910 headset handset lifter uh, works. Okay, thank you for, for watching. Um, we are going to do a troubleshooting guide as well, uh, just for those people who come across certain issues uh, during the process. But if you look at all the videos in order, you shouldn't have any problems. And obviously, you can telephone us if you do. But please ensure you check out the videos um, in order. 
and also the troubleshooting guide. And um, I hope that's been useful to you. My name is Darren Page. It's headsets number four business, headsetsforbusiness.co.uk. Thank you.